Yo guys, please go and subscribe to my second channel. It's the first link in the description and the pinned comment. Thanks. Right, yo, what's up everyone, it's YBH Team, so welcome to a new video. In today's video, I want to show you guys how you can improve your edit speed and be the fastest editor you just can. I've done two of these videos before, and you guys have been loving them. In this video, though, I have tips that I have never talked about before, and tips that I just recently learned. If you could hit 1,000 likes for this video, that'd be highly appreciated. And of course, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notice on, so you don't miss an upload. But yeah, now let's get into the video. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I've always played on this high-rise control feed, but what I did yesterday is I switched to the low-rise one. I instantly realized that I'm a way faster editor with the low control freak the lower one smaller movements are just so much easier i've only been playing on this for like a day and i'm already way faster at editing then the second tip is that you have to use confirm edit on release this is super important and i need all of you guys to do this if you're playing on double edit bounce like me i know that it's so deep in your muscle memory that you always confirm your edit after what i do is that i keep confirm edit on release on but i still confirm my edits it doesn't really affect your gameplay in any kind of way so if you guys have the same problem as me do that then the third thing i mentioned this in my video like a week ago and this only works for a controller on pc players so if you're playing on an xbox controller or a ps4 controller normally you connect your controller on your pc and then it automatically gives you the right controller platform what you can do is that you can switch to generic and for some weird reason this gives you way less input delay flea made a whole video on this setting gave me a little shout out because he got the idea from me yeah this is a new thing super important to play controller on pc make sure you do this then here are some editing drills that i've been doing recently i might have shown this in my videos before but i still do them and i think you guys should too they're really effective and i've been getting a lot faster at editing by doing this so here's the first one as you guys can see it's really simple yet super effective i recommend you guys practicing that every day and i guarantee you you will become a faster editor also this editing drill has been helping me a lot recently but yeah check it out there you go it might be a little hard at first but if you just keep on practicing eventually you'll get it done then the super simple single tile edit practice all you have to do is spam this cone as fast as you just can and this will help your muscle memory and just make you a faster editor over time so here's how you do it Then last but not least, just practice your wall edits. How I usually like to practice my wall edits. So I get on top of a cone, place a wall, and then just start spam editing it. I also practice my edit speed by just doing normal 1v1s. But instead of building, I try and focus on editing. Yeah, guys, I'm going to show you what that means now. All right, guys, so here we go. No, I couldn't see him. Ooh, I kind of slid off in there. What the heck was that? By the way, guys, I'm still trying to get used to the lower control freak. But if my aim is bad or anything like that, that's probably why. Ooh, I didn't know he was there, but I mean, I'll take that. Getting some decent kills on this guy. By the way, guys, if you're still watching, comment fast edits. I want to see what the loyal people are. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Also, don't forget the like call, which is 1000. And yeah, I mean, that's it. It's been about Dims. See you in my next video. Bye.